election, the economy, and a lot more straight ahead. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gusset's got it. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection. So you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Calbin Five Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct, shipped via UPS right to your door. Check them out on the web at 5 or call 800-340-7091. Take my word for it. Once you've used pure soap, you won't buy anything else. Since 1947, Calvin Soap Company has been showing consumers that soap can be tough on dirt and gentle on the environment. Buy American and stay clean, as well as support InfoWars. Visit 5starsoap.com today or call 1-800-340-7091. Well, Marty, what do you have to say? As founder and owner for over 63 years, satisfaction is guaranteed or double your dirt back. Call us at 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog or visit our website, 5starsoap.com. Thank you. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Briefly finishing up with all of this hype terror where they get everyone hyperventilating over a backpack at a federal building or you know, over somebody putting their gun in the back of their car. This is all dog training. We're all being conditioned to accept our comfort zones being entered into having our rights violated. And in every case, they do it for the drug war. And it's on record that the government ships in the majority of the drugs. They've been caught over and over again. They create the crisis. They make the drugs illegal, jacking up the price. They offer the solution total police state. They provocateur or stage the terror attacks. They offer the solution total end of the Bill of Rights and Constitution. And here's a story out of ABC News. They're nudging you. Oh, you won't go through the naked body scanners. Well, they'll just force women to do it because on average women are more compliant. And I watched that uh, in California Tuesday morning taking off uh, from San Jose. I sat there for 15 minutes after I went to the checkpoint watching the naked body scanners. And they were only putting women and children through and women with children. No men. No men. They'll also just randomly say, today at the ferry, we're searching all black cars or all red cars. Or today we're searching all men or we're searching all RVs. So that may have been at 
too, but there they were, naked body scanning, pounding them with radiation, recording their naked bodies. The government's now been caught lying about that. They admit they record them. Mobile trucks, state uh, courthouses, federal courthouses, they are putting out the mobile trucks, looking through your walls with incredibly high-powered radiation, dwarfing even the naked body scanners. And the head of the TSA, what, three months ago, told the Chicago Tribune, he said, in the future, in the next few years, it will be mandatory. You won't be able to opt out for a pat-down. And now they have secondary checks at the gate after you've already gone through. And I, I've witnessed it. Uh, Aaron, who flies a lot doing interviews for the films, has witnessed it, where they make old women and men who cannot stand up, who were paralyzed, get up. And they make other passengers, if they're by themselves, stand them up. And an old woman's crying, I can't. Uh. I mean, these are people with serious health problems, going to get cancer therapy, going to visit their family one more time. I've seen groups one time in San Francisco flying out to Hawaii. I wasn't flying to Hawaii. I was flying out of San Francisco back to Texas. But they were going to Hawaii. And it was a group of World War II uh, uh, vets. This was This was about six years ago. Uh, who were, because I talked to them, and they all had their hats on and their vest on. They were Pearl Harbor battle survivors. And you've seen an old man who looks like he's about to die, where the eyes start sagging, where they droop down. You can see the red of the inside of the eyelids, and their, their eyes are seeping, and they've got, you know, crusty stuff all over their skin, and they're on a walker just battling to go with their buddies back one more time. And they had weird secondary checks then, with some type of security firm, a memory service, it was called Wolverine Security, and it was kind of bright blue fatigues, and it was foreigners who could barely speak English. Whatever the security group this was, it was mainly Asian men, and they were literally going, Hallelujah! And, and you know, get up! And, and you know, these old guys are getting up, and they're, one of them has an oxygen tank, and they're like, what is that? What are you doing? And the guy's like, eh, he, he, he can't even really understand them. And this has been written about all over the news, the, the strip-searching women, to making them take their shirts off, making women drink their own breast milk. Like, what's in that bottle? Well, it's baby breast milk. I just pumped it. Well, drink it. And the TSA workers flipping out repeatedly and saying, I'm God, I'm God. Don't believe me? Guys, just search the term, TSA worker says he's God. Or, T and, and they just go crazy on the power trip and start announcing, I'm God, I'm God, and start, started stripping off naked, running around. I mean, these are the type of lunatics. They have this uh, police officer in Austin named Katana, and that's his last name. In fact, I had the article yesterday, never got to it. And Katana turned off a squad car video, shot a youth in a car, he got sued over it. The city's defending the suit. Then he got a DWI, and they still kept him hired. They still kept him on. And now he got fired because another police officer who's a female says that he came and invaded her house. Here's the article. Police chief fires Quintana. Domestic incident involving another officer leads to firing less than a week after Quintana was reinstated. Six days after Austin police officer Leonardo Quintana was released and reinstated to the force, police chief Art Acevedo fired him Wednesday for a second time this year, saying Quintana trespassed in the home of another officer and assaulted her. The seven-page disciplinary memo said the officer, with whom Quintana had been romantically linked, hit her on the hit her head on the wall on the incident, breaking the drywall and requiring her to seek medical treatment. The officer, Lori Norgella, said she is identified in the memo only as Officer A, also told Internal Affairs investigators that Quintana pinned her against the door to take a ring from her. On multiple occasions, he reportedly assaulted her. I mean, you know, these are, these people are unstable. If a cop gets a DWI, fired, you're at a higher standard. If a cop turns his squad car video off and then there's a suspicious shooting, gone. But but they keep the bad guys in there until their exploits get more and more insane, more and more and crazy. In fact, you guys actually found the NBC article about the guy saying he was God. Put that back up on screen for me. Thank you. TSA agent arrested at LAX. And uh, it goes on to say... 
He was behaving erratically and saying, I'm God, I'm in charge, I'm God. And then I guess it was another one who started saying something similar and running around stripping naked. That was a different one. Uh, and then how many times do they get a good-looking woman cornered and they're, they're doing a pat-down of her and they say, listen, I'm going to say you got drugs or bombs unless you give me my, your phone number and become my sex slave. At least they get in trouble for that. Or other TSA workers have to go through the scanners every day because they, you know, they like to abuse the abusers. And they keep making fun of the guy's genitals day after day. So he punches his supervisor in the nose. And the government says, he's arrested. It doesn't matter. We're allowed to make fun of your genitals. Remember almost a year ago in England, we, we, uh, we reported how TV stars over there repeatedly, the women will print off their genitals and ask them to sign it. That was confirmed. And, the, and our government and the British government said, this is ridiculous. There's no way to even save these or print them. Turns out in the manuals, they look at your genitals to tune the machine. They, they, they look at the genitals for details to see if the machine's tuned to look for weapons. So in the training, they look at your genitals because that's an area that has different folds and a shape that they can clearly tell if it's focused. Kind of like if you're a videographer, you focus in on some, on the cracks of, on somebody's eyes, uh, their, their, their crow's feet, or you focus in on their pupil and, and then make sure you can see the different uh, colors in their eye. That's how you know you've got a true focus before you back the camera out. Well, they look at your genitals and they record it, and TSA now admits they record it, and at one courthouse in Florida, they saved over 40,000 images in a few months alone of your children now there was a lawsuit in denver at the state courthouse over this and they brought in the state and federal law that people under 18 it is child porn and so now at that one facility they don't scan under 18 all right i've got to get into the election news and the economy i'm just illustrating all of this right now how it all ties together and here's abc news today this is today Got links to it up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Pat downs or full body scans. Security gets more personal in airports. And they're going to do enhanced physical searches. And I've, they already do these sometimes during high security alerts. And I've seen it on the news where they actually put their hands on a woman's breast and squeeze in a circle. And women describe it as very painful. They put their hand between your legs and squeeze your genitals because there might be a bomb. Now they're talking about chest X-rays because their Al Qaeda may may put fake breast implant bombs in. Uh, that's AP and Reuters and a ABC News. In fact, don't believe me. Just search uh, uh, authorities worried about breast bombs, breast implant bombs, and then in the articles they say that. So so see. We got to look through your house with high-powered radiation. We got to do this to you. We got to not give any uh, 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 radiation protection to the TSA workers who just all day are standing around right there at the machines. They're just blasting radiation everywhere. And and you know what? They now call in the TSA and say, "Do you have a problem with the body scanners? Are you worry about radiation?" And if you say, "Yeah, I'm worried," they say, "Thanks a lot, uh, officer." And then and then a week later, you get your pink slip. They can find idiots that'll sit there roasting themselves. There it is, Fox News. Terrorists could use explosives and breast implants to crash planes, experts warn, and they say they need full-body x-rays. Oh, and, you know, it doesn't matter. There won't be any lead walls for those running. There won't be any lead walls for you. It's just, it's over. They're testing and practicing absurdity on us to break our will and make us accept it. I mean, what more will we put up with? I'm in America watching small children being taken out of strollers and x-rayed. Three days ago, I'm having to watch this. And I was hoping they'd pull me out for it because I was going to just, just sit there and say, so you're radiating yourself right now. I've got to walk through this high radiation area and spend 10 minutes at a checkpoint being radiated just by the back scatter. And you don't care about yourself. And I know full well you were called aside, all of you, and asked if you had a problem with it. And those that were smart, you notice some of your coworkers aren't here now. You're killing yourselves and they're uh, you know, arresting me for causing a disturbance. Well, then I'd be in the news and I'd beat it in court saying, you tried to stick me in a radiation chamber. I'm here warning people. How is the TSA exempt from federal radiological laws that every nurse and doctor are under? How do our troops use DU weapons when the Army 